Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Dr. Rich Lukengay. This is Dr. Ryan Whitaker. We're representing the Hearing Imbalance Doctors. We're talking about something very important today. We're talking about noise-induced hearing loss. In other words, losing your hearing because of noise. Noise-induced hearing loss is one of the most common reasons why people lose their hearing. We want to talk a little bit first about how that happens. How do we lose our hearing because of noise? And then we can get into some solutions on how we can prevent it. So let's talk just a little bit about how it happens. It involves something deep in our inner ear called the hair cells. Okay, are we talking about the hairs that I can see in my Uncle Stan? Not the, he not the hairs you can see. Okay, so these are hairs that are deep inside your skull in something we call the cochlea, which is housed in the inner ear. So these hair cells are really neat because when motion comes through, the hair cells become stimulated. That's how it's supposed to work. From this stimulation, from these little hair cells, you probably can't see this too well, but that's a bundle of hair cells there. These hair cells become stimulated, and so they, they kind of move around, and they, they do certain variations of movements, which means something different for sound. That sound is then, of course, taken up to the brain via the nerve. So if the hair cells are working and being stimulated in the inner ear, then usually we can get a message to the brain and, and that's why we listen and we can process sounds and everything works out pretty well. The problem is when you're around really loud sounds and a lot of us are around these things recreationally, things like shooting guns. Side by side. Side by side. Some of us are around them for our occupation. We're doing woodworking, we're working with saws, we're around jet engines, things like that. These really intense sounds they cause these hair cells to be overstimulated, and it's kind of a complex thing that we won't get into, but in essence, instead of standing up and working like they should, these hair cells kind of lie down and they don't work quite so well. That has some bad implications. Not only does that mean we're not able to hear as well, but it can affect our auditory nerve and some of the auditory centers of the brain, and this domino effect can be bad down the road. So if I'm just going somewhere for fun, like a ball game, basketball game and a gymnasium and the drill team comes out, that can be pretty noisy. What if I want to go to a concert? That can be pretty noisy. What if I just want to go with my friends and shoot some skeet or, or do some, some things like that? Or maybe just something innocent like I'm going to mow the yard and then I'm going to edge the yard. All of these things are very noisy and when you add this up over time, it can have quite an effect on, on our overall ability to pick up these soft inputs. Thus, we refer to this as noise-induced hearing loss. So what do we do about it? It's actually pretty simple. Protect your hearing. There's lots of different types of hearing protection. There's big ear muffs you can use that go over the top of your ears. There's little foam earplugs that you can buy. They go down into your ears. At our clinic, we make custom hearing protection, custom molded earpieces that will protect your hearing. And simply protecting these hair cells will go a long way towards you being able to hear well for the rest of your life. Yeah, I think the main message is whatever you're doing to protect your hearing, have a plan to protect and be consistent. That'll make a huge difference.